Hello, today I'm going to talk about uh, smart things and Sonos, the hi fi wireless uh, speaker sound system. By now, most people are familiar with the Sonos brand and um, this uh, speaker system that has become quite popular um, in the last couple of years. Um, the reason I have uh, come late into uh, the Sonos party is because um, I had uh, started with my sound system from quite a few years ago and uh, I've always been a Bose fan and I've been really happy with it and uh, therefore I never really had the, the need to uh, get a new system so when I learned about Sonos coming out I knew it was a good system and probably if I hadn't had any system uh, at my home I would have definitely looked into building a, a Sonos system Right now, um, I've been playing more with uh, my uh, SmartThings hub and um, the more and more I keep exploring uh, into it, the more I like it. Um, then I started exploring and I started adding more things to uh, the SmartThings hub and now I ran into the possibility of um, adding uh, Sonos uh, speakers. So um, I started, uh, I decided to give myself a try with uh, the Sonos Play 1, which is the entry level uh, speaker. And um, it's right here, out of the box. And I'm just gonna go through the process of uh, showing pretty quickly the uh, Sonos app itself for those like myself who didn't know about it. And then I will go and um, talk about uh, the SmartThings Hub app and uh, what we can do with uh, both things um, within it. So here I have my Sonos app and um, I'm gonna go uh, kind of quickly through the kind of initial setup of uh, the speaker. I know that most people are uh, must be familiar with how the Sonos uh, speakers work. I wasn't and uh, they have been out for a while so just in case you are one of those persons who uh, are still not um, uh, familiar with uh, the Sonos system. It's uh, indeed very simple to uh, have your system going. If you don't have any um, uh, speakers installed, it comes right away and it uh, asks you to go through the process of adding them. So here you can see um, you have the uh, option of uh, adding a new player or sub. And then you go through here and then it goes through the process of uh, telling you to plug in your new um, device. And then um, it should come and then right there um, it has a little light that uh, when it's brand new and it's not configured it starts blinking in green and then um, it starts uh, looking for it. It asks you what kind of uh, speaker you're adding and then uh, once you uh, select it you uh, go and it tells you to push the play and plus uh, button on the top of the speaker at the same time and that brings it to the configuration mode and then um, after that it just goes through its process of uh, adding uh, the speaker to your network and that's pretty much it and then after that it's uh, really nice how uh, you have all these different uh, sources of um, audio um, you can add uh, tuning stations here you have the uh, possibility to add more music services so here you have uh, quite a uh, wide list uh, to, to choose from. Um, I uh, believe that Apple Music is one of the latest uh, services to be admitted. The feature that I liked uh, a lot was the alarm feature. Here um, you have the possibility to add uh, new alarms. And here uh, the only the important thing to note is uh, when you choose what kind of music you can um, you can choose uh, radio stations as your uh, how you want to um, wake up. So I chose my uh, radio station I use every day from uh, TuneIn. Uh, here you have the possibility to add it to uh, my radio station. So now it's added. So basically that's it. That's uh, all that I uh, really find uh, worth mentioning from the Sonos app. So now that I have uh, talked a little bit about the Sonos app, I'm gonna go and uh, show uh, what I can do on the SmartThings uh, Hub app. So this is how it looks, um, my main screen. And uh, like we have done before, uh, this is uh, what I have in my home right now. 
uh, this is what I have um, in my uh, that's how I have set my different rooms this is uh, what I'm showing in my house and for the Sonos um, sake uh, you have to go to uh, the marketplace again and then the way you go you go to entertainment and then in there you select uh, the speaker section and then here you have different uh, brands and different models from both Samsung and Sonos which are the brands that are compatible and then here you choose Sonos and then uh, just as everything else you to go here and um, uh, go to connect now and it will start looking for your uh, Sonos speakers that you may have uh, have already uh, defined in your Wi-Fi they will show here and then uh, you will just add them once it's added into your system uh, it will show uh, in uh, in your things and then um, it's showing here my master bedroom Sonos and then it's showing the current station that it's playing and um, it has a nice interface into it and it's now um, inside my um, uh, smart things hub now the new thing that i've learned from the smart things uh, hub app is a very cool feature if, if you go here to marketplace uh, you have uh, your uh, new things that you uh, uh, can add depending on the different categories or you have this other tab here which is called smart apps and these are apps that um, Samsung has uh, developed or other um, users and they add them here and then uh, you have additional features that you can uh, add uh, and use with your um, devices that you have included in your system. The reason why I was interested in having a Sonos speaker uh, and uh, your SmartThing system is because having um, your Sonos into your SmartThings uh, allows you to have um, uh, spoken uh, uh, notifications. Um, that was a very nice feature that I've uh, always wanted to have in my systems and uh, when I um, learned that it was possible with this, it's uh, really nice. So um, the way you do that is you go to the Smart App section and then you go to Music and Sounds and then here you see all the Smart Apps that are available for that and then here you can select the speaker controls and here there is this option that says speaker notify with sound um, or uh, there is this other one that I'm also using and it says speaker weather forecast so for example here I'm gonna uh, create one and then I'm gonna show you all the ones I have um, every time you want to create a new one you just come to the same place um, smart apps music and sounds and you have to do this every time you want to uh, add a new notification so you go here speaker notify and then here it asks you when you want the notification so I'm gonna say right now when the switch is turned on and I'm gonna say when all video is on when I turn all my uh, TVs that I get a notification so I select that done and then um, uh, afterwards here ask you what do you want if you want like a little bell sound or what do you want so here I'm gonna, you have different options um, some customs um, some custom messages or uh, sounds I'm gonna select custom message and then um, I'm gonna select uh, yes and then here you can type in what you want uh, the system to say so I'm gonna say all video is on is now on there it is uh, you have your uh, message and then it asks you where you want to play that sound you select your um, uh, Sonos speaker and then uh, here you have uh, more options um, it uh, asks you if you want to pause uh, or lower the volume for the um, uh, music that you may be listening to uh, and to restore it after it gives a notification and then uh, it asks you um, if, if you want uh, to do something um, when uh, a trigger happens like uh, if you want uh, your uh, Sonos music to start playing when you open a door then here you select um, your uh, clo open close sensor as your trigger 
and then you tell it to play a specific radio station uh, at Sonos when the uh, door is open so uh, that is a very cool um, feature you can have or uh, here you select the predefined volume for your notification here you select the name for your notification I said all video on done and then here uh, if you want to say specific mode if you're at home or away or uh, whatever I'm not I'm gonna leave it now like that so you select done and now uh, your new notification is uh, added so if I go here and go to my smart app section um, I can see here all the notifications that I have created. I have uh, the old video on that uh, I created. I have one for front door opening. I like, I have um, here uh, one that I have created for the morning. Um, at uh, 5.30 in the morning, uh, it starts playing my radio station from Sonos. Um, here, when the sunset arrives, it tells me uh, it gives me a notification when the, the sunset is happening, so you can even try it like this. Sunset arriving. So uh, you can try your little different notifications. Um, like uh, I have another one here. Good morning, Jesus. And um, I have uh, the one I just created. All video is now on. So this is the one I was talking about, um, uh, the weather forecast. Um, I um, I chose that uh, at 6 o'clock in the morning it wakes me up with telling me the weather report. So here you can choose what you want, the current conditions, the today forecast, tonight and tomorrow, and where you want to play it. And uh, uh, I, I only want this when I'm at home. and. Uh, here um, it asks you for a zip code where uh, to know where you are so they can give you the right uh, forecast and the volume that you want to hear uh, your forecast um, as well. So um, I like this one uh, quite a lot but I like it and it sounds like this. The current temperature is minus one degrees. Today's forecast is snow showers developing late. Low minus five degrees. Tonight will be cloudy skies with late night snow showers. Low near minus 5 degrees. Winds north northeast at 25 to 40 kilometers per hour. Chance of snow 40%. Tomorrow will be windy conditions and snow showers. High minus 2 degrees. Winds north at 30 to 50 kilometers per hour. Chance of snow 40%. Uh, with this, um, now I know uh, it uh, every morning it wakes up and gives me the weather forecast without asking for it I have like I said uh, another one I created and this other one at 6 15 in the morning uh, it starts uh, it starts playing my music uh, 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 from uh, my pretty fine stations from Sonos I want uh, just during my weekdays and if I select here next it asks you what track you want to play from your Sonos playlist. It has my uh, radio station, so I pick that. So this one, um, every day at 6.15, it wakes me up and it just uh, starts playing. I created a lot of notifications here that can be played through the Sonos speaker. So for that reason, like I said, I didn't have a really need of a new speaker for um, listening to music, but um, from the point of view that uh, now I can use uh, this speaker to uh, have notifications from when something happens at home with uh, my uh, SmartThings uh, system, I think it's very nice. Uh, it's a very nice feature to have, and um, uh, I like it just for that. It's good to know that it can be integrated with the SmartThings, and like I said. Um, I keep discovering stuff. Uh, these smart apps, uh, there are a lot of them. I have learned that uh, the smart things uh, hub uh, system uh, it's a very robust one. Uh, you can do a lot of things. There are a lot of possibilities. So that was uh, the Sonos system integrated with my smart things hub. This is one more thing that uh, we can add to our automated house.